segment, we're going to talk about the mojito, a classic Cuban cocktail with uh, fresh lime, fresh mint, simple syrup, white rum, and soda water. Now, classically, you'd serve it in a small little glass in Cuba. In America, we like to do things a little bigger, so we put ours in a Collins glass uh, and probably put a little more rum in it as well. Often they would muddle in the bottom. They'd muddle the mint and lime in the bottom of this glass. I'm gonna use a mixing glass to do so because the mixing glass is thicker and less likely to break if I'm muddling inside the glass. Uh, so we do, do ours mostly traditional, but we make, a few, um, we make a, a few exceptions in our technique that I think work. Otherwise, we wouldn't do them. So, a, we, we build in this more sturdy glass and then transfer. I'm putting three wedges of lime in here and three wedges of lime, since I cut the lime in sixths, is a half a lime. So it's a half a lime. And then I'm gonna use a mint simple syrup that we made. And if you look at the ingredients on the back, it's mint, sugar, and water. So it's all the stuff that's supposed to be in this drink anyway. I'm gonna use a half an ounce of the Alley 26 mint simple syrup. If you're wondering at home, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to water. So it's not overly sweet. I, we still want the lime to kind of come through on this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and start muddling this guy. You might be thinking, hey, isn't the mint supposed to be in there? No, because I snuck it in in this syrup for a couple reasons. Uh, one of the problems you have with mojitas is often the mint gets overworked and it starts to become like, uh, bitter uh, and, and kind of gross. So <laughs> I like to touch the mint as little as possible. So we put the mint in the simple and then I get to really get in here and bust up these limes nice and extract as much of the juice as I can. Now, the reason the mojito is really nice or the difference in a mojito than a lot of other cocktails with lime juice is that it's not just the juice. You're getting all those oils off of the outside of the lime which are really delicious and they really make this drink pop. Um, so I do, I do that and then I add the rum. I'm gonna add a couple of ounces of a decent white rum. Now I'm gonna take some, some, uh, some mint here. Just peel about eight or 10 leaves off. A couple more big ones. So this is a, a shake and pour drink. I'm not gonna shake and strain. So everything in this glass is gonna go in here. So try to figure out if all that ice will fit in there. And you might even go ahead and leave just a little bit more room to make sure you have room for your soda water. Put that right there and give it just a quick 10 shake. Cause I don't need to shake it all night because the ice is gonna stay in the thing. Now, I also like to put the soda water on the bottom because all this heavy stuff is gonna force that soda water on top. And if you want, you can even give it just another little spritz there and garnish it with a lime wheel. I use the wedge in the drink. We're gonna use the wheel on top. And then when we take this, this mint that we're gonna garnish with it. Just really pound it on the edge of the glass there. And then even give it a little, wake it up a bit. When you are garnishing, we have talked about this before, when you're garnishing with mint, uh, the whole idea is not just that it's pretty, it's that it smells amazing. So put the straw in with the mint so that every time somebody takes a sip on that straw, they're really getting that bouquet all in their nose and it really sells the mint. The mojito, enjoy.